I just think it's unfathomable that half of the deaths in the province happened in that window. Of the COVID-19 related deaths in Alberta, an alarming number of those found in senior care centers. Mackenzie Town long-term care facility in Calgary has been hit the hardest with 11 COVID-19 related deaths as of Monday and at least 80 confirmed cases. Now families are starting to speak up for better care. We lost so many staff all at one time when the outbreak occurred that it was just not possible to provide anything other than very basic care. Nina Vaughn's father is a resident of Mackenzie Town and one of the first to test positive for COVID-19. Her aunt, who also lived in the care facility, died on Monday. Uh, we've got to be able to do better in the next building that has no break like this. According to Alberta Health Services, there's been 112 confirmed cases and 13 coronavirus-related deaths at continuing care facilities in the province. She says more needs to be done since many senior care workers have been self-isolating. It's clear that Mackenzie Town was not prepared for the dramatic loss of staff that they are experiencing. And we can't let that happen at other residences across the province. The NDP leader calling on the Alberta government to provide hazard pay for frontline workers in senior care facilities, giving senior care workers with priority access to personal protective equipment and to provide stress tests for facility operators' pandemic plans. In a statement to City News, Steve Buick, the press secretary to the Minister of Health, says the government and health system is paying particular attention to seniors' facilities. He goes on to say continuing care providers may face exceptional costs and that the government will spend what's necessary. On Tuesday, Alberta's chief medical officer of health ordered a province-wide ban on visitors to long-term care centers, licensed group homes and other facilities. No visitors will be allowed to visit unless a resident is dying or if that visitor is essential to delivering care that cannot be provided by staff. Meanwhile, families continue to visit from a distance. And Vaughn says the province needs to do better. Despite the best of intentions at Mackenzie Town, that um, had they had more resources early on, we could have prevented some of what's happened there. In Calgary, Jackie Perez, City News.